Yo, yo, Reds fam, what's going on? And welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the FIFA 20 video. I know, a little bit of a curveball. We're still keeping this baseball related with the curveball reference. That was probably not good. In this video, I want to talk about a certain subject that people have been wanting to know. Every year, this happens where people want to know how to make coins. Now, I know I don't have the most amount of coins, so you guys are probably going to be like, oh, you only have 23,000 coins. I shouldn't be listening to you. It's going to be something that I'm going to be doing to definitely get my coins up. And basically, the method that I'm going to be showing you guys that I'm going to start doing is going to or towards the league SBCs. Now, a lot of you guys have probably already know how to do this. You guys have already. You guys are probably doing this right now. Who knows? Guys, look for the league SBCs, right? And there's certain teams that cost higher that are, that are obviously more expensive than others. And I'm not talking about, you know, for, for, I'm using this league, I'm using the league one as an example, you know, PSG, PSG might, I don't know why it has a non-test logo. Okay, there we go. See the PSG, you only need six players and you also get a mega pack. This one might still be expensive, but the, let's say Stadia, that's best choice, whatever. This one might be expensive because you need a whole team of them. And there's probably only one player in a certain position for that team. So one way how you can find out how to do this now this is a this is the method that i'm going to be doing is going over to footbin.com go to footbin.com okay you go over to this little icon it should say you go to active challenges yeah over here you could go over to uh players which it used to be called leagues now they're called players i don't know and we're gonna go back to the league that we were looking at which is the league one we're gonna look at league one and see which teams are the most expensive ones that are usually wouldn't be so expensive. Now you have here, Dijon is going for about 14,000 coins. Um, let's see, a couple of them might be going for a lot. Uh, let's see, let's see. PSG obviously is going to go for quite some bit. Stadi, the one that I was telling you about, goes for about 10k. Full team of 10k. So, you know, you might get players that are about 400 coins, 500 coins. But this might be players that are like six, that are like 1,000, 2,000 coins. You know, silvers. Cause the rating is not that high honestly the rating is not that high so the odds are that you're going to be getting a player that's actually a pretty low overall but actually very expensive so we're going to look at this team study whatever I'm, I'm not going to try to say the name so you see this guy's going to go for a thousand this guy's going to go for 900 a thousand five hundred so yeah basically the standard see this bronze this bronze going for about 800 coins this is where you can kind of maximize your profit the, some bronzes are going to go for a lot Make sure if you guys do open bronze packs, which is another method that I'll be talking about, the bronze pack method, make sure you check every single price. Even if even if some players you keep, which is the point of the bronze pack method, open up the packs. If you don't have anybody, you keep them. That Well, anybody that doesn't sell, you keep the players. You check, you know, later on with certain SBCs comes out, league SBCs, they might actually rise up in price and boom, you got yourself a profit right there. So that's another one right there. But uh, yeah, some of these players are going for quite a bit. And let's go ahead and jump back to FIFA and see if we can try to snipe any of these, uh, you know, silver players, maybe even gold players. But most likely, what you're gonna, we're going to try to uh, snipe a silver and see if we can get some good prices. All right, so now we're back on the PS4 and we're going to check if see if we can get ourselves something here. So we checked. It was League One, uh, Stadi. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call him Stadi. And let's just check the market and see how they're how, how they're going for now another thing that you could do is to pick them up at a decent price is to you know this guy goes for on bid for 300 if you can pick them up for 300 and sell them for about 600 get yourself about a 20 coin profit but profit is profit no matter what it is trust me so this guy right here mendy a, a striker goes for about a thousand uh we're gonna put him down a bid for about 400 coins and see if we can try to pick some of these up i might actually bid a couple of them and see if we can get them. I'm gonna mainly go for the silvers as they do go for a lot. See, we'll check this guy goes for about a thousand, but see, he's on open bid for basically about 300, 30 seconds left. We'll see if we can try to pick up some of these guys here. So this is what basically you do. Look through these filters, look through these teams, look at what's, what's selling, and then kind of go, well, that we're not gonna do that. If you can pick him up for about 300, Put them up for about 850. You got yourself a profit no matter what. Now I didn't miss the bid there. Some bids you're gonna miss. Some bids you're gonna hit on the dot. So we might get lucky with some of them. There's a couple of them we did get outbid on them. We did win one of them. We did lose out on this one right here. Mendy one. I'm gonna try to pick him up. Uh, see if we can get him for a decent price. 
This guy's going for about a thousand. Yeah, about a, about one point one. So we pick him up for anything lower than that. This one we missed. This one I'm kind of sad that we missed on. This was a good one to snipe, and we missed out on it for four fifty. Somebody got him for four fifty. So we might be able to get this Mendy card for this price, uh, flipping for about one point one. And then that's a profit right there, 605, 500 coin profit. And one thing you gotta keep notice is the EA taxes. So I know I know on foot bin, see we picked this one up, we picked this guy for 300. We picked this guy for three for 350, sells for about 600. Hey, that's a profit in my book. This guy we picked him up for pretty rare, uh, for pretty cheap. We missed out on Bane. And this one's going by for about 150, uh, 150, and it's only he's going for about 2k. So we're gonna try to see if we'll get this one, put a bit up for 300. You know, you kind of, you know, you always want to check the price as well. Now, you could snipe them straight up and buy them straight up. But that's essentially going to make it harder for you because a lot of people are going to be trying to buy them right away. Some people probably might not even put down bids. Uh, I'm going to be putting down bids, obviously. Uh, it's about 500. So, you want to look for one that actually makes sense to bid on. Something that you know you're going to be making profit out of. Because if you bid something for 800, you're not really going to get the most, you know, the biggest, you know, trade off from it or the biggest profit from it. So just look at which cards you're gonna you you know that are gonna be the ones that are most profitable and just kind of stick with that we'll go to another league maybe we can actually check out the city see how silvers are popping up in the city um you see like the city this is where you can make some money some of these cards are ridiculously expensive silver cards at least they are ridiculously expensive and we're gonna try to see if we can pick some up some uh some of these cards up sell them Kind of flipping for some profit. Now this guy goes for about 750. Wouldn't make sense for us to pick him up. Uh, but some card might be a center back here. Goes for about 900 coins. Put a bid up for 400. That's eh, not too bad. So this um, Endure, if we look over on Footbin. If you look over on Footbin, we'll see how this guy goes for though. We, I think we, 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 we can see his price here. So yeah, I haven't seen anything less. Yeah, you see. We picked one guy up for about 300. He sells for about 1.3 and that's like a thousand coin profit. That's a thousand coin profit right there for Endure. Go ahead, put him up for about 1.2 just so we can sell him quick. And bam, you just made profit right there. You just traded right there. I just traded right there by doing that. I'm going to be putting in some work into trading. I do want to get some good players. I know a friend of mine that has been trading and he has a ridiculous team right now due to trading. So I'm going to be kind of picking his brain, seeing what works and what doesn't work, kind of get some tips from him and see, you know, if is is this a good card to, to, to trade for, is this a bad card to trade for. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you guys want to see some more trading methods, if you guys want to see some more FIFA 20 content, make sure you leave a like down below. Also, comment down below what trading method you guys are using or if you guys want to reveal it, I don't know. But just talk to me, man. Let me see if you guys... You know, let me know if this if this method works out for you. Let me know if this method makes you some coins. You know, what players you buy from this method. Let me know in the comments down below. And most importantly, both folks, make sure to drop a sub, alright? And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.